Hey guys, today we are going to get excited about the new part of the tutorial series. Today we'll be looking at the door and light buttons, which work really well. The light has a little flicker there and the door smoothly comes down. They both go to the mouse X and Y. There is a couple um, problems with the costumes and stuff, but I'll show you how to fix them later on in the tutorial. Now let's get right into it. So we have a few new sprites today, uh, door button, door, light button and light. We're going to start by going in the door button. The costumes is just a door button that I have designed with another one that is green with like a little flashy flash thing. And it does not fit on the office, which I thought was just normal for the recording, but it's actually not. So I'm going to fix that later. Hopefully you understand what I just said probably don't but yeah so we want to do a when i receive uh office no power out when i receive power out want to hide and when flag is clicked you want to also hide and you want to go to zero zero just gonna get it to just go to the center of the screen and hide itself and you want to do a when sprite is clicked and you want to get an if then and there is two new variables called door and light which are both for all sprites as I've put them in cap locks here and you want to do if door equals to zero if the door is equal to zero then you want to switch costume to costume two which is the the green one and the door's kind of like the cameras, kind of, yeah, it's kind of like the cameras. And you want to broadcast door down. This is going to just get the door to come down. And you want to duplicate the script and you want to do if door is equal to one, then switch costume to costume one. And broadcast the door up message. There we go. And that makes, that is the programming of the clicking on the button you want to do when i receive office you want to switch costume to costume one just in case because that's important you want to show and go to zero zero and then forever go to the mouse x times 0 0.05 and if you remember that was the same one as the office which means yeah, uh, 0 0.05, not 0 0.09. And then do the same for the mouse Y. In case you're wondering how I'm searching this stuff, this is Scratch add-ons, which you can um, download to your computer. Now, when we do this, you'll see when we get into the office, it does move with the mouse. Um, but it's not in the right place as you can quite easily tell. So what we're going to do, keep the project running and use the arrow keys and select it to move it so that it is in line with the door button thing. So that's going to be a useful tip there. There we go. And you want to do the same for the other one. So it's now working like that, but when you click it, it goes back up there, which is pretty annoying so we want to fix that by putting this over here and bringing it down so it is in line and should be in around the same place as the other costume like so yep these look pretty good now testing that it should all now be working but we can't turn it off um that's because the door variable doesn't really do much yet so that's the reason why but we'll do that when we go into the door sprite itself. Now as you can see we've got a couple costumes here. They start with at the bottom and then they go up. Remember that, start at the bottom and then they go up. That's very important. Um, so we're going to do when flag is clicked, you want to hide. And you also want to go to zero zero. So just like the door button sprite. Now we're going to do it when I receive uh office you want to hide because that means like the door is 
not going to be closed when you go in the office. That's very important there. And you want to switch costume to costume one, I think, yeah. And you want to set the door to one. I think, yeah. Set the door to one. And you want to drag this into here. Like so. Like that, yeah. And then you want to do, when I receive door down, we're going to switch the costume. We're going to switch the costume to the costume six and then repeat five and switch costume to costume number minus one, which is the costume number there. So that will make it whatever costume number it is minus that by one and it will switch costume to that and it will do that five times. And you want to set the door to one. That is vitally important there because that will animate the door and stuff. Okay, now we're going to duplicate that and do door up. And then, oh yeah, also add a show block in there. And then do switch costume to costume one at the start and a next costume and set it to zero. Put that at the top of the script. Uh, but actually, let's put it at the bottom and then put a hide block at the bottom. There we go. So the door variable basically controls the stuff with the power. You can remove that switch costume there if you want. So, yeah. Actually, no, let's, let's put it back in. Let's put it back in. Just, it might help it just in case. Okay, let's test this out and see if the door does work. And let's see. Okay, so as you can see, it doesn't work because the button is not at the front layer. So what we're going to do is get that in front of the darkness effect. Oh, I hate them pop-ups. Alright, get it uh, to the front layer there. There we go. And then it doesn't really work there at first. But as you can see, it's doing what the light did where it was there like that. Um, so we're actually going to fix that. Just by moving every costume uh, a little bit to the side, I think. Yeah, I think figured out the problem here. We're gonna, we're gonna need to move all these costumes to the side and down a bit until they're in line with the thing. Now I've moved all the costumes down so that they're in line and we're going to test this now and see if it is in line with the doorway. Let's see. There he is. There he is. There he is. It shows. It works. It's looking good. The door works. It's sick. Camera works. Don't know why I'm so obsessed with the camera moving and stuff. It just, it all looks good. It all looks good. It lines up with the mouse. It's looking good. Um, I've just moved the costumes a bit on that because of things to do with that. I think it should already be moved for you if you're using the assets because I moved them there. But that is good. So let's see what's next. So we're going to go, we're going to be working on the light button next, but we're going to drag in a few scripts. We're going to drag in the when I receive office. The when sprite is clicked and the when flag is clicked, also the when power out. So pretty much this is all the door scripts. But we're gonna change some of the stuff up in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this variable to light here and we're going to uh, broadcast different messages of light on and light off. So light on in the top one and light off in the bottom one. There we go. That will get the light to work. And then I, I think if I show this it's actually out of line like the other. So we're going to move this down just like I did before. As you can see here, get it to 
move so it is in line with the door and light um, panel, if that makes sense. Yeah, I suppose it's a panel. Okay, so we're going to get a good front there just so it gets in front of all that. And it's doing what it did with the door button before, but that's fine because it's just the light variable hasn't really been used much. So we're going to go into the new sprite, which is the light hallway itself. And we're going to do when flag is clicked. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the costume. It's just kind of a hall I have designed here that will go in the hallway thing. And we want to hide it at the start, make it go to the zero zero right there. We're going to do when I receive uh, the power out, we want it to hide and set the light to zero there. So that will just turn the light off immediately once the power goes out, which is vitally important. And we're going to set the light to one here and get a when I receive a uh, light on, if I can find it. When I receive light on, there we go. There we go, okay, so when I receive light on, set light to one and show it. Um, similar to the power out one. Oh yeah, and in the there we want to do it forever. Uh, go to back there, so that will just make a bump. It will make it go behind the office and everything. So what next? We want to get it to hide. So we're gonna do just duplicate the power out and change it to broad. Uh, when I receive light off there, and we're gonna do when I receive uh, where is it it's annoying when you can't find these things uh we're actually going to go into the door button sprite and drag uh no the door and we're going to drag in a the script here when i receive office into uh, the light and we're going to set the light to oh i actually just realized a mistake we want to set the door to zero there and then set the light to zero as well uh, yeah, that will make the light off and hopefully make the door off as well when we go in. Uh, we're also going to set the brightness effect. This is going to make it flicker. And pick random one to turn. We don't need to change anything on there. Then we'll just make it flicker nicely. Now let's test this out and see what happens. Here we go. Moment of truth. And, oh. It's working, but the the light button seems to be a bit off. <laughs> Let's try moving it, shall we? Uh, yeah, I think I moved it a bit much or something. But um, apart from that, it seems pretty all right. Seems all right then. I just copy and paste this over so I get a bit of a guide. There we go, and then switch between the costumes. Everything looks good. There we go. The light is working, and the door is working, and everything is working. And that brings us to the end of today's episode. If you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe um, for more of this series. If you are having trouble with anything, let me know down below. I know today was a bit of a struggle with the costumes and stuff, but it's all working now. Um, yep, but if you need any help, let me know down in the comments. I'll be sure to help you. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.